Oh man, you know, I'm so hungry. I got this coupon for this new pizza place down in state. Gonna give him a call. Let's see. Should be good. Welcome to the Pizza Extravaganza Palace where all of your pizza dreams can come true. Hmm. Press 1 for the Pizza Corner. Press 2 for Pineapple Island. Press 3 for the Pepperoni Station. Press 4 for the Extra Cheese Hut. Press 5 for the Krusty Cabana. Press 6 for the Thick and Saucy Shed. Press 7 for the Oh My God I Can't Believe It's That Big Pizza Park. Press 8 for the Sausage Roll Me Some Spice House. You selected the Extra Cheese Hut, is that correct? No. You said no, is that correct? Oh, brother. You said, oh, brother, is that correct? Stop! Stop. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. I give up. I give up. <laughs> and we're going to get a wonderful look at this classic Grant Green tune, Grandstand. Now, check out how you can get more videos like this one. Just navigate to Bruce Gregory Video On Demand. When you get to the site, you can browse videos in a wide variety of categories. Each video covers a different topic and has bonus content and supporting documentation. There's even a free trial option. Don't forget to use your promo code to get a discount off your first purchase. And the link for that promo code is in the description down below. Now, if you dig the video, throw it a like, hit the subscribe button, and don't forget to hit the bell notification because that's going to let you know every time I upload a new video. Of course, the channel releases new videos on every Tuesday and every Friday. So let's get started. Mr. Grant Green. Man, we are on a guitar video roll. This is just a classic tune. Now, it's one that is virtually unknown. In fact, I don't really hear a lot of guitarists call this tune. They just simply don't know it. It tends to be a cult tune, but it's one you really need to have in your tool belt. It has a simple melody and it goes like this. <laughs> detail about that melody because it's really not that difficult. Of course, I harmonize it like this. And that makes it really interesting to kind of play. Of course, if you have two or three horn players on a bandstand, it really creates a nice wide feel to that. But it's really not that complex. And really, the point of today's lesson is not so much the melody, because it's really not that complex. However, it really is a focus on harmony. And why? Because this tune really has a feel, in my opinion, of Minority by Gigi Grice. But it has a major feel to it, because... We are in F major, and then Grant Green takes it right to the minor 4, B flat minor 7, and of course, then he walks it down in chromatic two fives. A flat minor 7, G minor 7, C7, to a normal turnaround in F major, 1, 6, 2, 5. But the chord spacing is a little wider this time. We don't have the compression of the measures being so tight. We basically have a whole measure to blow on each one of these chords. So it makes it very, very unique. <laughs> fact that we can get really inside these changes in a lot of ways with the simple, simple harmony. We've got F major, and that's really what I'm thinking over the one chord. When I get to that chromatic 2-5 or the minor 4, I can go to melodic minor right there, B-flat melodic minor. 
I can think of it as a dominant and play E flat, Liddy and flat seven. Of course, the same thing when I get to A flat. And even when I get to G, I can kind of think melodic minor there, but most of the time I'm really just thinking G Dorian to maybe an altered dominant, but not a ton of altered dominant sounds in this particular tune. Really, I'm kind of thinking diatonically, except for those two chromatic two fives, the B flat minor seven and the A flat minor seven. That's really where I'm kind of getting inside the change there. Check it out. <laughs> by Mr. Grant Green. It's not one that's called a lot. Of course, it's one that you don't see called really ever on the bandstand. In fact, I would say most of the time when I call this tune, players have no idea what it is, and I jot the chords down for them, and then afterwards they say, wow, it's a great tune. In fact, I recall a memory from a guitarist that came to one of my Wednesday night jazz jams and said to the bass player after the tune, what was that last tune you just played? Because most of the time, Grant Green tends to be an overlooked guitarist, particularly in the bebop world, but he wrote some fantastic tunes, and this is just another example of that. Now, if you dig this video on Grandstand, make sure to check out my video on Full House and all the other videos on the BHX.TV site. Of course, the channel releases new videos on Tuesdays and on Fridays. And don't forget to check out the new series on Wednesdays, Jazz Standards You Need to Know. And I will see you next time. Peace.